Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on quadratic equations. In this video, we'll be forming quadratic equations from the roots. So we start with the first problem. Problem 1. Find the quadratic equation whose roots are a 2 and 3, b 5 and negative 4, c 1 and half and 3, d negative 2 over 3, and negative 2 whole number 1 over 4. So we start with the A part of the problem. For A, we have the roots to be 2 and 3, which means x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 3. And from here, we can form an equation. Okay, and equate it to 0, either by taking these two to the left-hand side or by subtracting 2 from both sides. That is balance method. So if you subtract 2 from x, we'll be left with x minus 2. If you subtract 2 from 2, the right hand side will be 0. So we now have x minus 2 is equal to 0. And in the same way, subtracting 3 from both sides, we are going to have x minus 3 is equal to 0. So from here now, since x minus 2 is equal to 0 and x minus 3 is equal to 0, it means their product is going to give us 0. So that we have x minus 2 into x minus 3 is equal to 0. We can then expand to have our equation. x times x gives x squared. x times negative 3 gives negative 3x. Then negative 2 times x gives negative 2x and negative 2 times negative 3 gives positive 6 is equal to 0. We can now simplify the middle terms. Negative 3x minus 2x gives negative 5x. Our final equation is going to be x squared minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. And that gives the quadratic equation whose roots are 2 and 3. Then we go to B. For B, X is going to be 5 and negative 4. So we write X is equal to 5 and X is negative 4. We're going to have X minus 5 is equal to 0 and X plus 5 is equal to 0. Remember, this is positive here. On getting to the left-hand side, it becomes negative. The same thing here, it is negative here, on getting to this side it becomes positive. Since the two equations are equal to zero, it means their product will be equal to zero. So that we now have x minus five into x plus five is equal to zero. We then expand, x times x gives x squared, x times four gives plus four x, negative five times x gives negative 5x and negative 5 times positive 4 gives negative 20 is equal to 0. 4x minus 5x gives negative x so that our final equation becomes x squared minus x minus 20 equals 0 is the quadratic equation whose roots are 5 and negative 4. Then we go to C. For C, I have one whole number 1 over 2 and 3 as the roots of the quadratic equation to be formed. We're going to change this one to improper fraction so that we now have x is equal to 3 over 2 and x is equal to 3. Remember 2 times 1 gives 2 plus 1, 3, 3 over 2. So if we cross multiply here, we'll be left with 2x. Then taking 3 to the other side, it becomes 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 and x minus 3 is equal to 0. So finding their product and equating to 0, since the two equations are equal to 0, we have 2x minus 3 into x minus 3 is equal to 0. So expanding, I'm going to have 2x squared minus 6x minus 3x plus 9 is equal to 0. Simplifying these like terms, 
that is negative 6x minus 3x is going to give us negative 9x. So we have the equation as 2x squared minus 9x plus 9 is equal to 0 is the quadratic equation. Then we go to D. For D, the roots are negative 2 over 3 and negative 2 over number 1 over 4. X is equal to negative 2 over 3 and X is equal to negative 9 over 4. So from here, if we cross multiply here, we are going to have 3X. Taking this negative 2 to the left hand side, we have 3X plus 2 is equal to 0 and here 4X plus 9 is equal to 0. Finding their product, equating it to 0, we have 3x plus 2 into 4x plus 9 is equal to 0. 3x times 4x gives 12x squared. 3x times 9 will give us plus 27x. Plus 2 times 4x gives plus 8x. And 2 times 9 gives 18 equals 0. Simplifying these middle terms, we have 12x squared plus 35x plus 18 is equal to 0, which is the quadratic equation whose roots are negative 2 over 3 and negative 2 whole number 1 over 4. And that's all for the solution of problem 1D and the entire problem 1. We then move to problem 2. Problem 2. Find the quadratic equation whose roots are a. 7 and negative 7, b. 4 twice, and c. negative 3 and a half twice. So starting the solution from a, we have the roots as 7 and negative 7. Again, at that point, we say x is equal to 7 and x is equal to negative 7. So Taking this 7 to the left-hand side, I have x minus 7 is equal to 0 and uh, x plus 7 is equal to 0. If you take this negative 7 to the left-hand side, it becomes positive. Then we find the product and equate it to 0 since both equations are equal to 0. So we now have x minus 7 into x plus 7 is equal to 0. So we then expand x times x gives x squared, x times 7 gives plus 7x, negative 7 times x gives negative 7x, negative 7 times positive 7 gives negative 49 is equal to 0. So simplify the middle terms here, 7x minus 7x gives 0, so we left with x squared minus 49 is equal to 0 is the quadratic equation whose roots are 7 and negative 7. Then we go to the B. The roots are 4 twice. So in this case, we are going to say x is equal to 4 and x is equal to 4 twice. This is to enable us get our equation. So taking this 4 to the left-hand side, I have x minus 4 is equal to 0. Invariably, it is still going to be x minus 4 is equal to 0. So multiplying x minus 4 and x minus 4 equate it to 0. And then we expand. So we have x times x gives x squared. x times negative 4 gives negative 4x. Then negative 4 times x gives negative 4x. Negative 4 times negative 4 gives positive 16 is equal to 0. So the middle terms in x can be simplified. Negative 4x minus 4x gives negative minus 4x gives negative 8x. So we have our equation as x squared minus 8x plus 16 is equal to 0, which gives the quadratic equation whose roots are 4 twice. Then we go to C part of problem 2. The roots are negative 3, 1 over 2 twice. So we are going to change it to improper fraction and then we double it since it is twice. 
So changing it to improper fraction, and then we let x is equal to negative 7 over 2. 2 times 3 gives 6 plus 1, 7 over 2, and x is equal to negative 7 over 2. So forming our usual equations, which is always going to be equal to 0, we cross multiply. And uh, by cross multiplying, we have 2x plus 7 is going to give us 0. So we have 2x plus 7 is equal to 0. The same way, cross multiplies 2x. Take this minus 7 to the left hand side. We still have it as 2x plus 7 is equal to 0. So multiplying the two factors now together and equate it to 0, we have 2x plus 7 into 2x plus 7 is equal to 0. 2x times 2x gives 4x squared. 2x times 7 gives 14x. Then 7 times 2x gives 14x. 7 times 7 gives 49 is equal to 0. So simplifying the middle terms, that is 14x plus 14x will give us 28x. So we have 4x squared plus 28x plus 49 is equal to 0 is the quadratic equation whose roots are negative 3 and a half twice. So that's all for the whole of problem 2. We then go to problem 3. For problem 3, if one of the roots of the equation x, x squared plus qx plus 2 equals 0 is negative 1, find the value of q and the other root of the equation um, from the solution. Um, from the problem, we are told one of the roots is negative 1. So since the root is negative 1, then x is equal to negative 1. With this x is equal to negative 1, we are going to substitute into this and find the value of q. So we have x squared. And since x is negative 1, we have negative 1 squared, then plus q into negative 1, since x is negative 1, then plus 2 is equal to 0. Um, this is going to give us a 1 minus q, 2 here. We take the 2 to the right hand side, it becomes minus 2. So from here, we simplify and get the value of q. So negative q is equal to negative 3, and negative we cancel, negative q is equal to 3. Remember, this is positive here. On getting to this side, it becomes negative 1. So negative 2, negative 1 gives negative 3. Then we substitute the value of q and solve the quadratic equation to get the other roots. So we have x squared plus 3x plus 2 is equal to 0, since q is 3. So um, we are looking for two factors of 2, whose sum will give us 3. And that's going to give us um, 2 and 1. So we now expand this now to be x squared plus 2x plus x plus 2. This is equal to 0. So by implication, we have expanded it to four times. We divide into two to factorize. So the first two, x is common. So we have x into x plus two. Dividing this by x will give us x inside here. Dividing two x by x will give us two. Then to the last two parts, one is common. So positive one into x plus 2 is equal to 0. Um, one funny thing about this factorization is that what you have inside the bracket will be the same. So we now have x plus 2, which is the same for the two brackets. Then whatever is remaining outside the bracket, which is x and plus 1, are brought together to form the second factor. So which means x plus 2 is equal to 0, or x plus 1 equals 0. So this is going to 
invariably give us the root we are given before. So we need not to solve this one. It's only this first part we are going to solve to get the second root. So we now have x is equal to negative 2. And this gives the other root of the quadratic equation. So that's the end of solution to problem 3. We then go to problem 4. For problem 4, the root of quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 are negative 2 and 1 over 2. Find the values of the constants a, b, and c. So in our solution, we are giving the root to be negative 2 and 1 over 2. We form the quadratic equation using these roots. Compare with the given quadratic equation to get the values of a, b, and c. So again, we write as x is equal to negative 2 and x is equal to 1 over 2. So our usual method, we add 2 to both sides. We will now be left with x plus 2 is equal to 0. This one cross multiplying and taking this to this side, we have 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. So bringing these two factors together and multiply, equate the result to 0, will be taking us closer to forming the quadratic equation. So we have x plus 2 into 2x minus 1 equals 0. So expanding x times 2x gives 2x squared. x times negative 1 gives negative x. Positive 2 times 2x gives positive 4x. Negative 2 times negative 1 gives negative 2 is equal to 0. So simplifying this term, negative x plus 4 will give us 3x. So we now have 2x squared plus 3x minus 2 is equal to 0. So remember our a is the coefficient of x squared. And the coefficient of x squared here is 2, which means a is equal to 2. And for our b, it is the coefficient of x. And our coefficient of x here is positive 3. So we have b to be equal to 3. Finally, the constant term here is c. And the constant term here is negative 2. That gives our c to be equal to negative 2. And we have successfully solve the problem 4 and this is the highest we can take in this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it check our website to get easy access to our videos remember also to check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on quadratic equations until we come your way again goodbye